such creatures. But if you produce uh, a child with three eyes or with gross deformities, mm. uh, you just simply can't discard such a child on the rubbish heap. Absolutely not. And, and at this stage, the technology, if they were producing baby chimpanzees perfectly every day of the week, I would say perhaps there's a great case for scientifically going one step further. That's Never mind the ethics. That's why we are taking time. Absolutely. But you said you were going to rush ahead and do no, it. No, 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 no. Keeping ahead of the legal no, 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 posse no, that no, would be no, out no. to deter you. That was a joke. We, we are taking time. <laughs> As long as it needs to have a perfectly healthy baby, because it will, it will be a terrible counter-advertising for uh, our organization. So the baby will be perfectly healthy. But you know, the opponent to human cloning are much more afraid of a perfectly healthy baby than of a monster or handicapped child. Because a perfectly healthy baby will change the public opinion instantly. And the day we will introduce to the public, let's say, to, to, through, uh, through Larry King on CNN, that is what is scheduled, a smiling family with a happy child and a healthy child, then it will change everything yes, in the world. Yes, but 20 years on, when you have an arthritic child or a child that has gone prematurely blind, no, I mean, that there is, is no way that will happen. How do you know? Because we, the, the progress of science make it possible to scrutinize the, the genetic code of the children at a very early stage and to be sure that they are perfectly healthy. You know, when you talk about monster or handicapped child or that, the deformity, you had uh, very recently in England, Siamese twins, yeah. they had to separate these children into to kill one to have the other one survive. If this baby was born through cloning, everybody would got banana and say, look at that, it's terrible, the, what they do is... No, it was made sexually by a no normal couple. And nobody say we must uh, cancel sexuality. Yes, but there are uh, things which are done inadvertently, which happen by accidents of nature, and there are other things which you set out deliberately to do. And what I'm saying is if it results before a child can be cloned, you have 300 miscarriages, 300 eggs harvested from that's women which are wasted. That's the first try, and it's the first try with a lamp. And that's what I explained in my book, Yes to Human Cloning, because everybody is against, is against it, so you have to listen to people who are in favor of it. Why every, uh, most of the people we, we hear on TV and radio are against it? Because it's uh, politically correct. Under the pressure of the Catholic Church, it's a kind of fashionable trend to be against genetically modified food, yeah. against uh, everything. Like if we must go back to the Middle Age and horses but, and, the, and, the mean, uh, and is, organic food. At the end of the day, Rail, it is the ultimate vanity that someone should want to clone something that had a unique personality. And just, I mean, there might be a case for cloning Roy Keane or Niall Quinn, who, who are great footballers, by the way, just in case you're Thank not you. totally in tune with that. But, but even then, that's a joke. I mean, there's no point in having another Roy Keane no, but some on. people one more time want to have a, a child, and the only way they have to have a child is through human cloning right now. But this is just the first step. The first step, because we want to go much further. Step two will be, soon it's coming. You know, if you, you spoke before about people laughing. Yeah. 27 years ago, I was giving speech explaining that cloning is coming. Everybody was laughing. Then Dolly the Sheep was created. And then everybody's afraid, and we are laughing. But we knew that now, Dr. Mengele, for example, was supposed yes. to be interested in this He never cloned kind of a human thing. being. No, but he didn't have the technology at the time. But yes. he was interested in that kind of thing. No. And The Boys from Brazil was a movie which preceded your interest in yes. cloning, I suspect. Um, Fergal Bowers um, of, the, of IrishHealth.com. Uh, Fergal, you've been taking an interest in this particular... Uh, the, the Raelians and uh, the website. Well, what, what is your view? I mean, you're in... You're into the science of cloning, you know what it's all about. Well, no, uh, there's been no human being cloned as yet in the world. Uh, there are huge ethical, legal and social consequences to, to doing it. I certainly believe we should be celebrating the differences between people rather than wanting to clone people. But if there was to be cloning, you would definitely want it to happen under a regulatory system uh, with doctors and with the authorities involved and independent monitoring. You wouldn't want a cult organization being involved in it because that is dangerous. You mentioned about the U.S. case, that couple that paid uh, uh, $500,000. Uh, what happened there was a very disturbing matter, and the FBI had been following it. What happened was that that couple's 10-month-old uh, <coughs> daughter died, and your group 
uh, decided that they could regenerate that child by using tissue from that child. When that work began, the FBI moved in and you were moved out. Now, I don't think that's fair to the parents. I think you're preying on people. Whatever about the, uh, the amazing imagination that you have, in relation to human cloning, it's too serious a matter to be left in the hands of an organization. From what we've heard tonight, uh, you're not with it. It's you, real. You should get real. <laughs> it is absolutely untrue. The, the FBI has no authority and did not move in. It's the Food and Drug Administration. We claim to have authority and did not have authority and we are suing the Food and Drug Administration and we will win. Because there is no law. That was, I, I testify, in, uh, in, the, in the last spring in front of the US Congress. Yeah, yeah. They are thinking about making a law, but there is still no law. But, I mean, it. you could be charged with um, being a confidence trickster, for example. They may you no. know, go the criminal route rather than the food Absolutely and drug route and say, look, this guy took half a million dollars off this couple Not at with all. the promise of cloning, when at the very minimum we're talking about it being safely, Wrong again. safely five years away. Wrong again. Because no money. We have a waiting list of 3,000 customers. We don't accept any customer. The first person is an investor. He created the company himself to help us. So the Ryan movement has no money in this project. It's Dr. Boisselier with the money of the first investor, the father, who was doing it. And I will give you another scoop if you like. There is another, because this father still wants to clone his child. And he's a very educated, intelligent, not somebody gullible. He's very intelligent. He was a lawyer and he was also a lawmaker in America. Yeah. He still wants to clone. Does this, he not this realize that even an identical genetic match will it's not be the same child? That's not because the problem. Because it will be bro born from a different womb, that's not with a problem. different environment. It is freedom. It's a question of freedom. Individual freedom, and that was the Supreme Court uh, decision 22 years ago. Of freedom of a family to decide how they want to have a child. That's just a question of freedom. Okay, are you going to clone yourself? Not at the step one. At the step three, yes. What is the step three? Soon, we will be, uh, this co it will be possible not to clone a baby, but to clone directly an adult person. That's the next step. People can laugh today. It's but coming we will be able soon to clone through accelerated growth process directly an adult. Not with the surrogate mothers. Last month, scientists are uh, announced they are have working a, a on a fully grown adult cloned in a few minutes who knows as little as a baby does. In a few minutes I mean, in an artificial womb. But the, that fully grown adult will know nothing. It takes... It will know nothing. It will have, be like a blank tape. And that's where step three intervenes. Step three is downloading everything which makes you who you are, your personality, your memory, in the clone of yourself. And then you reach eternal life. That's what I explain in my book. Eternal life. That's why we support okay. cloning. But, but you see, the, the clone you make of yourself is going to be the same age as yourself. is going to die on the same day. So it's not eternal life. It, it just we, means the two we, of you die we'll instead die of one. We'll die at the age of 90. And you clone somebody at the age of 17. So if we take a cell from your body, okay. we clone yourself when you are 17. And then you are again, you have a life until the age of 90. And you can transfer yourself okay. from one body to another right. body. Well, um, we've got some Raelians in the audience. Yes, sir. Uh, Pat, uh, I'm pleased to be here uh, with other members of the Raelian movement here in Ireland. And um, I, like other people here who I heard giggling and stuff a couple yeah. of years ago, probably would have giggled until I was lucky enough to see Rail on the show four years ago. I went out and I bought the book and read the things. You know, I had a, an interest, a personal interest in, you know, human genetics and stuff like that. And uh, things that Rail talked about, you know, um, human genetics, nanotechnology, and also the human cloning. But these are things Rail spoke about in the 70s. And, uh, you know, these are things as uh, we progressed have become more um, real. And these things are actually happening. It was only announced um, last week by two scientists in Iceland that um, the gene for longevity has been discovered. Now, this is in a matter of years is going to make people live to an age of over 200. Yeah. Now, what the point I made, irrespective of the moral, ethical, legal arguments which yeah. uh, Fertile talk, was talking about, uh, there is the whole scientific argument that says until you are routinely cloning our nearest relative uh, genetically, i.e. a large primate, and doing that successfully every day without miscarriage, 
it would be utterly improper to go ahead and try and clone a human. I think that's, that's just such a given, irrespective of moral or ethical considerations. No, just from the pure science of it, because you're talking about people, you're not talking about if not, disposable uh, laboratories.